الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Preventive Geriatrics Geriatrics is the science that deals with study of diseases and their treatment in old age Gerontology is the study of physiological and psychological changes which are incident to old age i.e. study of aging process there is no standard definition of old age aging is a normal inevitable biological phenomenon and it is not known when old age begins UN considers 60 years of age transition to elderly age group elder Early old age, early old age up to 75 year, this is elderly, and late old age for those more than 75 years. In developed countries, people at 65 years and beyond are elderly. Aging is a physiological process that starts from birth, continues throughout life, and ends with death. Process of aging of an individual is assessed by comparing biological with chronological age. If biological age equal chronological age, aging process is normal. If biological age lags behind chronological age, age aging is delayed. If biological age advances ahead of chronological age, aging is premature. Aging equal growing old but senseness sense sense equal decrease in biological efficiency feeble equal feebleness of body and mind associated with process of aging feebleness of body and mind associated with process of aging as decreased sexual pros decrease in endocrine activity loss of elasticity of blood vessels and rise in blood pressure these physiological changes associated with aging referred to as geric changes due to interaction between growth atrophy which start from womb to tomb geric changes are functional and structural manifesting at all levels and affect cells, tissues, organs, and even configuration of body. As life expectancy is increased, population of aged are increased. Aged population globally equal 9%, 60.7% in less developed countries, 15% in developed countries. Though percent of elderly is more in developed countries, majority of old people live in developing countries. Out of 530 million, more than 60 years live in world. 355, more than 60 percent million live in developing ones. By year 2020, old people are 1,000 million of which 700 millions, more than 70, live in developing countries, leading to increased burden of diseases associated with old age in these countries, in developing countries. Japan is the most elderly country in whole world. The average life span of Japanese is 80, 20 years. In India, percent of aged population was 5% in 1971 and 70.7 during 2001. It is likely to increase beyond 8% in next decade. Later years of the human life course, the good and the bad news. The good news that the third age or the young old increase in life expectancy successive cohorts show gains in physical and mental fitness evidence of cognitive emotional 
reserves of the aging mind more and more people who age successfully high levels of emotional and personal well-being effective strategies to master the gains and losses of late life bad news the fourth age of the all or the oldest old sizable losses in cognitive potential and ability to learn increase in chronic stress syndrome sizable prevalence of dementia about 50 percent in 90 year olds high levels of frailty dysfunctionality and multi morbidity dying at older ages with human dignity theories of aging process first somatic mutation theory two autoimmune theory three high flex theory somatic mutation theory autoimmune theory high flex theory health problems of aging these are grouped into physiological, psychological, social, and pathological problems. Physiological problems, disabilities, these are senile cataract, glaucoma, nerve deafness, bony sense affecting mobility, bony senses affecting mobility, emphysema, failure of spatial changes, changes in physical outlook, wrinkles of skin and mental outlook psychological problems mental changes decline in sexual performance isolation mental changes loss of memory due to senile dementia associated with comprehension decreased comprehension and decreased intellectual performance decline in sexual performance will lead to physical and emotional disturbances isolation death of family members plus friends, lack of care by youngers, social maladjustment will lead to isolation. Depression, symptoms of depression, lack of interest in activities, sadness, unexplained crying spells, irritability, loss of memory, inability to concentrate, confusion, confusion, disorientation, thoughts of death or suicide, change of appetite, and sleep pattern, persistent fatigue, lethargy, aches, etc. Factors predisposing for depression are isolation, poverty, presence of disease or disease suffering, emotional disturbances, lack of happiness. The depression may even lead to suicide. Social problems of elders, poverty, isolation, maladjustment with youngers, unhealthy lifestyles, idleness and boredom poverty due to retirement or loss of income more expenditure due to ill health isolation due to death of family members maladjustment with younger generation unhealthy lifestyles as smoking alcoholism idleness and boredom are other social problems pathological problems body composition changes with age changes in body composition and the clinical impact changes as decreased lean body mass changes in will lead to changes in uh, drug distribution decreased muscle and bone mass decreased in strength decreased total body water greater risk of falls increased percent of body fat greater risk of fracture or greater risk of dehydration disease of heart and blood vessels as hypertension atherosclerosis myocardial infarction cerebrovascular disease there are two types of stroke ischemic stroke and hemorrhagic stroke also diseases of cancer diabetes and obesity diseases of eye as cataract principal changes in cardiovascular system in elderly increased stiffness of blood vessels increased stiffness of myocardium decreased beta adrenergic response impaired SA node function impaired endothelial cell function overall reduction in cardiovascular reserve diseases of bones and joints in elderly spondylosis 
myositis, fibrocytes, osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, gout, rheumatoid arthritis, and fracture. Osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, gout, rheumatoid arthritis. Read this, please. Common food problems in elderly, bionians, callus or corners, hammer toes, two nail problems, neuropathy, food deformities, and heel pain. Please print and use. Diseases of respiratory symptoms, common ones are chronic bronchitis, bronchial asthma, and emphysema, genital urinary system, enlarged prostate, incontinence, of urine, dysuria, nocturia, urinary infection, fecal incontinence, nervous system diseases as Alzheimer and Parkinson disease. CNS changes in elderly, decreased brain mass, decreased dopamine receptors, increased parasympathetic response, slower reflexes, decreased in acetylcholine. Decreased brain mass will can lead to atrophy on CT or MRI. Decreased dopamine receptors tendency toward Parkinsonism and get changes. Increased parasympathetic response sensitivity to anticholinergic drugs. Slower reflexes tendency to fall. Decrease in acetylcholine diminished reflex on examination poorer to touch discrimination. Impact of taste challenges, problems related to change in taste, less or increased appetite, loss because of no taste, increased intake to achieve some taste, complaints about how food tastes, mistaken identity of food, excessive seasoning, increasing sugar, salt. Examples of common potentially treatable conditions in the elderly depression, diabetes, food disorders, hearing and vision disorders, hypothyroidism, iron deficiency, anemia, nutrition deficiency, oral disorders, interfering with eating, heart failure, COPD, basal cell carcinoma, falls, osteoporosis, polymyalgia, rheumatica, and temporal arthritis. Parkinson disease. All these are common potentially treatable conditions in the elderly. Preventive care of the age. Ideally, this should begin much early right from childhood. The promotive measures undertake during childhood and adolescence constitutes a pre-geriatric care. When continued during old age, the objective would be to add life to years, not to just years to life, i.e. to decrease disability and improve quality of life. Primary prevention, health promotion, these are the measures to remain healthy in old age. Control blood pressure, weight and diabetes, avoid smoking, physical exercise, which unlocks stem cells of muscles and rejuvenate old muscles, Endurance exercise improved levels of spontaneous locomotion. Exercise all sorts of dementia and mental decline. Avoidance of drug abuse. Well balanced diet. Decrease saturated fat, refined sugars, and fast foods. Add calcium rich diet, fruit, vegetables, greens, tomatoes can save from high cholesterol and hypertension due to pigment. Lycopene, which has antioxidant property, it is also found in watermelon, guava, and papaya. Here are some potential benefits of exercise improved aerobic capacity, reduced mean blood pressure, increased maximal oxygen consumption, increased muscle mass and strength, increased bone mass, improved flexibility, improved lipid profile. Reduced risk of falls, increased sense of well being, reduced inflammatory markers. Here is a CDC exercise recommendations for older adults. 
Adults need at least two hours and 30 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity every week and muscle strengthening activities on two or more days a week that work all major muscle groups or one hour and 15 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic activity every week and muscle strengthening activities on two or more days a week that work all major muscle groups or an equivalent mix of moderate and vigorous intensity aerobic activity and muscle strengthening activities one on two or more days a week that work all major muscle groups here are some home safety tips for older adults to decrease fall and decrease bad accidents print it and use it health promotion for elderly continued cultivation of interest in reading writing listening to music etc avoid loneliness by engaging in recreational activities drink enough water to prevent uh, chances of neural stones and urinary problems periodical screening for blood pressure vision and hearing plan for future financial housing and disease security build large circle of friends and social service which is useful exercise and spiritual activity promotes health we just mentioned the benefits of exercise and the schedule for exercise a specific protection all aged people must be immunized against diseases as influenza pneumococcal pneumonia tetanus and hepatitis b they must also be immunized selectively against hepatitis a meningococcal meningitis japanese encephalitis and rabies please refer to infectious disease section and here here is some details about influenza vaccine print and use pneumococcal vaccine print and use zoster vaccine print and use tetanus diphtheria and tetanus diphtheria pertussis print and use secondary prevention early diagnosis and treatment since most of diseases of old age are predictable they can be identified by periodic screening timely detection and intervention can preserve quality of life they must be educated about danger signals of uh, signals of cancer women educate about self palpation of breast exfoliative cytology of vaginal cervical smear pap smear exam of all women who attend menopause and complain of vaginal bleeding to rule out cancer cervix useful screening measures for functional problems in older individuals for hearing vision screen for malnutrition and urinary incontinence please print and use useful screening measures continued mobility and balance risk of for falls medications cognition alcohol tobacco depression please print and use A screening recommendation for older adults by u.s preventive service task force for breast cancer cervical cancer colorectal cancer prostate cancer lung cancer skin cancer <clears throat> please print and use depression depression affects five to seven percent of community dwelling older adults about 10 percent of older uh, males and 18 percent of older females the single screening question do you often feel sad or depressed has a sensitivity of about 70 percent specifically about 90 percent Two screening questions <coughs> coming below over the past two weeks have you felt down depressed or hopeless this screens for depressed mood over the past two weeks have you felt little interest or pleasure in doing things screens for anhedonia in idam taladdas positive responses should lead to investigation with scales as geriatric depression scale or 
the nine-item patient health questionnaire. The breast men over 65 uh, of year are at increased risk for suicide. Effective treatment for older adults both decreases morbidity and extends life, includes exercise, group therapy, and mitigation. Tertiary prevention, disability limitation, which equal rehabilitation, improvement, quality of life done by following measures in community, organization of cultural programs, arrangement of picnics, establishment of old age clubs, establishment of old age homes. وفي النهاية أقول الحمد لله وthank you for your good listening.